Hello everyone, my name is Ricky. I ordered some snails as you can see on the box. So in here is 240 nerite snails, all of nerite snails. So they're not, not really the pretty ones, but they're, they're, they're super good at eating um, algae. So they'll be going in my 350 gallon tank because that tank has been struggling with algae a ton. And these guys have helped me a ton clearing it up in the past. Okay, so it looks like there must be snails in each one of these little packets. So I'm going to go ahead and open them. So here's what was inside of these little, thi little things. Um, so it looks like 60 in each. I did order 200 snails, but the seller does include 20% extra in case of uh, deaths. So he he's a really good seller really good prices so I will link them in the description. I'm gonna go ahead and open these up now. So here's all the Nerit snails. Um, so they're not not super big. Some of them are a little bigger but most of them are on a smaller size. Which is actually good for me because that'll I mean they can get in the smaller crevices and clean up a little better. They do all look like they're alive. Um, after the after they finish eating all the algae in the main tank, I'm gonna probably end up moving a few of them to some of my other tanks, my to my uh, fry tanks. So this right here is the tank that the snails are gonna be going into. Right now it's a little dirty. I haven't had time to do any maintenance on it. Um, the electric bill cars also did breed, so they uprooted a ton of plants which I need to get back in the substrate but as you can see right here this is like the type of algae that I'm dealing with that the snails are really good at eating unfortunately there's a little bit of hair algae which they can't really eat but they should be able to take care of all these diatoms that are on most of the bigger plants So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna dump most I'm gonna dump all of them in there because there's just too much snails for me to try to flip them. Um, unfortunately, because of that, some of the fish will probably eat some of them. So I'm gonna try and feed them to distract them from the snails. They're already going after them. I also have clown loaches in there which eat snails, which is part of the reason I got so many, so that it would take a while for them to them to get to the snails, eat all of them. They'll last a while though. They really only eat them when when um, they're flipped upside down, which most of the time they're not. I'm going to try to flip some of them because that's a lot of snails that are upside down. So I finished adding the snails. I did try to flip most of them so that the fish wouldn't pick on them so much because they are really curious. Mostly the, the caras. They already ate a few of them, but most of them should survive. You can see several. It's curious. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the algae that's on the plants because I'm going to go ahead and show the tank a few days later just to see how much algae they've eaten. So a lot of these plants are just coated in that brown algae. Hello everyone, this is the tank a week later. As you can see, the Anubius plant is now super clean. No algae on it, except for a little bit of 
a few strands of staghorn algae on the tips, which doesn't look like it's been really getting too crazy. They look like they might be dead. Here's the Nubias up here. Also super clean now, except for the little bit of staghorn algae. All the swords, super clean. Now there's just a few spots that the snails haven't gone to yet, such as this right here. But it's only been a week and they've already cleaned up the tank super well. They've been cl cleaning the sides and the front of the glass pretty well too, but I wouldn't really rely on snails to clean your, your glass. They're still going to leave spots, but the spots they leave on, you know, plants and rocks, you can't really see. But the glass is what you see through, so. So the only algae I really have now is on this water sprite plant. Which is coated in some sort of, looks like, staghorn. And some diatoms on it. The snails can't really get to that. And even if they could, they couldn't really eat the the hair algae that's coating coated coating it. And so do these plants. All the none of my stem plants are really doing too good in here. These plants back here also aren't doing too good, covered in algae. So it just looks like the stem plants are what's not or we're not doing too good in here. So I might be. I'm thinking about replacing them with some just a bunch of Amazon swords, Nubias, and Cryptocorns. So if anyone has any ideas on how to maybe like have my stem plants do better not get coated with algae, please let me know in the comments because I would really like to have stem plants in here because they're, they're the only plants that are really going to get to the top of the tank and that's kind of what I want but unfortunately I'm not doing too good in here. Apongitons are growing pretty well though, but I don't think they're going to reach the surface. Thank you everyone for watching. If you stay to the end of the video, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and stay in tune for my next video where I'll be adding more plants to this tank.